The illegal slice cube is like a regular Rubik's cube with two major differences. The first is that the geometry has an extra side, almost like a pentagonal prism. This concept was inspired by Oscar van Deventer's illegal cube, which is a fully functional 3x3 pentagonal prism. Oscar called it the illegal cube because it's designed to permit 90 degree turns, which normally wouldn't be allowed on the geometry. The second difference from a Rubik's cube is that it's geared like a slice puzzle. On a normal slice puzzle, you can only turn the middle layers, or with a looser interpretation, opposite sides turn simultaneously. This puzzle continues my exploration of unusual group theory properties in twisty puzzles. I took a different approach in designing this one, starting with a list of all of the planar graphs that can be used to generate the Matiu M10 group. When I found one that looked easy to construct, I adjusted the points to match a known 3D geometry, in this case the corners of a pentagonal prism. Unlike some of the previous puzzles in this series, this one is pretty difficult to solve. It has roughly 44 quadrillion possible states, about 1 1,000th that of a regular Rubik's Cube. The most interesting step of the solution is positioning the corners, which could involve first solving two of them, which is like fixing two points of the M10 group. Then, the remaining eight corners behave according to quaternion group rules, and can always be solved with a maximum of two algorithms. This puzzle is for sale on my website and also available for download if you'd like to print it yourself. Thanks for watching.